Hey, it's Daymore Sarah again, and today I got another figure art zero to review, but this one is a little uh, special, I guess, in that it is the first of the time skip figures. This one we have is Frankie, and uh, actually the box has quite a few new things this time. Of course it says for the new world there, and here it says, uh, I don't know if it can really read that, but Figure Art Zero is the new standard of figure series with an easily collectible price and size. It's a unique statue figure that focuses on form and coloring to reproduce each character's charm. And, yeah. Over here we have a really uh, cool group shot of uh, all nine of the characters, and uh, yeah, obviously I've got Frankie and Zoro right now, and Luffy is on the way, and then obviously the rest are going to be released later. Hopefully when I have all of them, I hope I can, like, display them kind of like that, because that would just be cool. And, uh, yeah, there's the back. There's the, uh, gimmick, I guess. If that's what you want to call it. But... Let's uh, bring out the figure and here he is, he's quite the big guy and uh, I have to say this one might just be the favorite of mine of all the uh, figure art zeros I own so far. This is just a really great figure. Really like the uh, metallic paint on the shoulders and a bit on his uh, arms there and on the uh, knees as well. And yeah, actually you can uh, move the hands even that one if you really want to and yeah there's his uh, usual Hawaiian shirt and his usual hairy legs and uh yeah, as usual with the uh, figure art zeros, the paint quality is not the greatest, but there's not too many problems. Like, see, there's a little bit of uh, paint uh, bleeding there, but it's not too glaring, really. And, of course, it has just a really awesome pose, and Keith's quite large for a uh, for a uh, figure art zero of course you can uh, remove the sunglasses as well though I do prefer to keep them on and uh, yeah there's his uh, hair and uh, he also comes with course uh, a head with his 
regular hair, which is pretty awesome. Although I do just kind of prefer to have him with this head just because it's kind of uh, what I associate with this version of Frankie at this point and I've actually kind of grown toward, I've kind of grown uh, fond of this hairstyle. I don't know. I didn't really like it at first, like what what did what did you do to his hair, but now it's kind of, it's kind of grown on me. And of course, you can uh, take the uh, sunglasses off there too. So yeah, and just pop him off the base. Obviously stands really well, just really amazing how uh, these, uh, all these figures just balance so well. I mean, sure, he, you might think he has his uh, hand to balance on, but actually if you pop this hand off, he can still stand without that so you can s just see how well balanced these are and uh, base is a little bit different this time around it's square this time instead of the more oval shape I actually kind of like this better than the oval shape because, well, it kind of takes up more, less, uh, space anyways. It's got his Jolly Roger there, which seems a bit different from what I remember it to be, but whatever. And, of course, Frankie and some Japanese stuff, and Dead or Alive. But, uh... Yeah, it's a great figure, and I'm really quite happy with it, but that's pretty much all there is. So, this is De Morcer, and see ya, or something. Goodbye.